Hi, this is Diana Heidela with ExploreTalent.com, and tonight we're with... Nancy Lascala. And Nancy, um, what inspired you to become an actress? What was the moment? Um, the actual moment that I had, I was working in Milan with a very famous uh, commercial director. His name is Peter Smiley, and I was shooting with Roger Moore. It was a commercial for Japan, and after doing the we I had a call back with him and I was rehearsing and and then I went in and I did my scene and and he actually when I was finished he he turned to me and he says why are you here and I said well well I'm it's a call back I'm supposed to be I'm, I want to book this job but he goes no and he goes why are you in Milan you should be in LA working as an actress I said well that's very nice of you to say email is making so much money as a model and I was like oh come on you know ha 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 and a few a few years later, I went to um, back to New York, and I, I just pursued it. For some reason, I just felt like this is really what I wanted to do. It's my passion. It, it's not about being famous. It's about the work. It, it's the more work you do, the more work you discover as an actress and as a person, and whomever you work with as a teacher to help you grow. And when you work with other actors themselves, it helps you move forward as a person. And the passion that I have with that also helps me create these wonderful characters. Uh, this film that I'm in right now, it's at a lot of the festivals, it's called Vegas based on a true story and I play the mom Tracy and what was nice working with this wonderful independent film director, his name is Amir Naderi, he allowed me to create the character. He allowed me to just, okay, this is you, this is your home. So you, I had to actually clean the trailer that we shot in, and I had to actually um, de decorate it. So that was, that was like, oh my gosh, what am I, the housekeeper? You know, so I became the set designer, set decorator. But what was nice about it is I was able to create, it helped me create my character more, it helped me make me more aware of the senses and things that every actor should be able to create. And when you do that process, what can you give us a little insight about that? Like, how do you create your character besides yeah, the well, environment? And well, one of the nice things, I, I did a film with Jane Campion uh, in the cut with Meg Ryan, Mark Raffaello. And the um, wonderful thing about that was when Meg Ryan was on set, even when we were all just doing rehearsals, she said, my name is Frankie. That was her character name. So we all had to address her as her character name. And what I think is important when you are really trying to engross yourself into a character, and it could be on the stage, because when you're on stage doing theater, you're that character. And, and you have the fourth wall, which is the audience, and you have to be able to project who you are you know, emotionally, physically, verbally. And what's nice when you're working on a movie set with people, it, it also allows you, when you're calling, like my name in the, in the film was Tracy, so every day I stepped on the set, I, everybody knew they had to call me Tracy. It just helped keep me more grounded and, and, and let me feel more of what was going on around me. Wow. And what inspires you today? What, who do you look up to? Who do you want to work with? Oh, oh my God. There, there, there's so many talented actors that are already have established themselves like the Meryl Streep of the world um, phenomenal actress you could, if you had one you know, in your pinky if you could have the talent she has in just the tip of her pinky it, it just would allow you to grow more there's amazing amazing actors Daniel Day-Lewis um, um, Sean Penn did a phenomenal, phenomenal job in Milk. So you, I think it's just allowing yourself to be able to, when you work with an, a very talented actor, someone that's well known and someone that has has grown as an actor, it allows you to grow because you're challenging yourself. You're allowing yourself because so many people are like, oh, they go into class and they sit there and they go, oh, yeah, and then they read and they go, oh, that was really good. But did you really get what you wanted from this? Did you really allow yourself to grow? Because sometimes you have to take risks, and that that's the name of the game. And and acting is not easy. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of letdowns. It's a lot of promises that just never, never happen. A person can promise you the world and, and promise you every single part they're going to do in 10 movies that they're going to be producing or directing. 
and then it never happens and some people can't take the rejection you have to have a thick skin you have to believe in yourself you have to be able to explore and do other things while nothing is going on. You have to be able to support yourself. You can't look out for someone else to take care of you. This is your choice. This is what you want to do. And you have to just be able to move forward with it. And what are some of the secrets of um, keeping yourself grounded and positive when everyone else is saying no, 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 no? What is one of your secrets that helps you to be confident and to go back um, in? Well, I grew up on a dairy farm in upstate New York. And be, being come, excuse me, coming from such a humble background, being raised and, and working since I was seven years old, being out in the barn at 6 a.m., you know, sweeping in front of the cows or, or feeding the calves and things like that, it, it, it grounds you. You learn responsibility. I did. And having a, a, a wonderful, wonderful family keeps me grounded. But I also take the time to help others. Um, this Monday, the 25th Memorial Day here in, in Los Angeles is the LA Marathon. And I was fortunate enough, before I had a back injury, to work with so many wonderful people in New York City and they allowed me to run the marathon and I did the Boston Marathon myself and, and then when I had the back injury I wasn't able to do anything so I decided, well I want to help someone, or as people, or more than one, to be able to give them in, to help them to do what they want to do because some people they're, they're physically challenged in whatever disability that they have and this will it allows them to have the freedom to do what they want to do that they dream to do and this one gentleman I'm helping this Monday at the LA Marathon his name is Carl Swerkel and he's um, paralyzed on his right side but he can still walk and a few years ago I actually walked with him 13.3 miles which is the farthest he ever walked and it took him five and a half hours, but he was very determined and he was very gratified and so happy that he was able to do that and share it with his family. And those little things you have to remember are so important in life that yes, it's wonderful to have the glam and, and the glitz and it's always nice to have pretty things and, and recognition, but you also recognize that there are other people less fortunate than you, whether it's uh, helping children uh, with, you know, inner city kids that have nothing, uh, helping to rescue animals, which I'm a, a huge, huge, huge supporter of. Or, you know, helping people that are physically challenged or helping people that in some way giving back because you are, you are given so much. The more you do, the more that you accomplish as an actor or as an actress it's nice that you're able to give something back. And it could be just your family. It could be someone in your family that just needs help, but at least you're there for them and you're able to do that. Wow. That was a long answer. <laughs> if there's anything that you could redo about um, becoming an actress, is there any mistake? Oh, major? absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I, I wish, I, years ago, I uh, was represented wrong. And I just, I wish I would have trusted my gut and just went with my gut and said, no, this isn't right, and believed that instead of trusting. Because that's the thing, a lot of people want you to trust them and believe in them, and sometimes you have to go with your gut. It, it may not be the right answer at the time, but it, it probably ends up being something that ne des definitely needs to be done. Right. Um, yeah. That's, that's really good advice because being out here, you. Like you well, get approached, and it's not just here. You can right. be in any city across the country or around the world. If there's theater, if there's if there's anything to do with television or film, and especially now the SAG may strike, and that leaves so many people out of work, and it's frustrating because there's so much going on with the economy right now. Mm -hmm. But then it's a good time for non-union actors or non-union people to work. But at the same time they're struggling like do I work or do I support my family or do I not work because I, I believe in what the strike holds for me because I want to be able to be in the union maybe a year from now or five years from now it's those things you need to really sit down with yourself be able to sit down with yourself or or your significant other or your spouse or someone and just say hey is this the right choice for me is this what I want to do and I think that's very important it is. And for those who are just starting out thinking about this, they got I that. Didn't answer enough. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just one more quick question. No more. No, no, when I'm kidding. When someone has it, they got the bug and they're coming out here mm -hmm. to fulfill their dream, mm -hmm. what would you say 
to be proactive for their career, what would be like the top two things right away that you would do when you come out here? Uh, make sure you have a job, but that goes without saying. Everyone should have a, a, a nice place to stay or a comfortable place, but even if you have roommates or not, but just know your space. Have at least your space and your job. And those aren't just two things, but the third thing I would say is um, be in a class find a class don't just stick to one try out a few different places that you will find that all of a sudden you become comfortable with or you enjoy seeing the work because you always want to be involved in a class that allows you to grow as an actor or as an actress you because you need to grow you can't just plateau and be comfortable you always have to challenge yourself and I think that's very very important